Today in the 201 training, we're going to see how to use the MTM videos on an iPad in the pharmacy to help increase patient adherence and compliance. I'm Dominique Thomas, the implementation specialist here at MTM videos, and I was a former pharmacy technician. You can join me at any time at my email address, dpromise at mtmvideos.com. You already uh, might know who we are, MTM Videos. So we deliver tools via email and iPads to increase patient adherence, pharmacy profits, and save pharmacist time. And you'll see today that with the iPad, we're able to reach those three goals very easily. First, let's take a look at your situation. Your competitors dispense advice and let patients go without much concern for their understanding. Their main concern is to serve the client as fast as possible, usually, but it should be compliance. It should be if the patient did understand how to use his medication, what is all about his condition. So that's what we're able to do here with in-store patient education videos. It allows you to be different, to position your pharmacy as edgy using the iPad at the edge of technology, and it shows you take care of your clients. It allows you also to build a relationship with your clients. This is what often you don't have time to do if you're in a rush, if you have a lot of clients at the pharmacy. Well, you have a moment to discuss with them about the video they just seen. They can ask questions to you if they saw the video and have a few questions after. And it allows you to really start a conversation with them on a topic that interests them, which is their condition or their device. Our first library is about health conditions. Uh, it has 74 videos and is located under the conditions button in the iPad. I'll show you what it looks like on the iPad a little bit later. This is the complete list of all the health video you find. If you already know how to send videos using your dashboard, uh, you, you should know that all those videos can also be sent from the iPad and can be viewed in the pharmacy from the iPad. Same thing here for the how to use devices videos. 20 topics divided in 39 videos located under the devices button of your app. This is the complete list of devices shown. But before you take a look at this list, I'd like to show you really how it works on an iPad. So you see our app is called Smart Videos. You can install it from the App Store. Once it's installed, you have to log in using your username and password and then download all the videos on your iPad. This is the app's main page. We have our two video libraries that I talked about. First one, conditions. If you have several languages such as English, Spanish, and French, here you'll have the opportunity to choose your language. But for today, my iPad only has English videos. So you see all the topics available here. If I want to watch, for example, a video on hypertension, I choose this topic and I can see all the subtopics in my list of videos. I have a few on. We always start with what is this condition? So here, what is blood pressure? And then we go on dividing the topic into subtopics in short videos that last about two minutes maximum. And we always end with a treatment capsule on the condition itself. If I go back, I can enter the devices library where I'll find all the topics on how to use properly your devices. For example, if I want to know how to use a handy handler, I just select it, touch it, and there it goes. Handy handler. Important notice. The information provided in this video is for general information purposes only and does not replace the instructions of your health professional. You should always follow the instructions given by your doctor or pharmacist. The handy handler is used for the administration of tiotropium. First, open the protective cap by pulling it upwards or by pressing on the green button. Lift the white mouthpiece. Take the blister pack that contains the capsules. Fold it and separate the two blister strips. So as you can see, the video is quite slow. It allows the patient, when he's at home, to do the same moves as the actor does on the video. 
and we really want to take it slow for everyone to be able to understand how to use their device. We have other topics that are divided into subtopics, such as the ophthalmic drops, because we have two different techniques to apply ophthalmic drops to children and one technique for adults. Same thing here for EpiPen. We have how to inject a child with EpiPen and we give advice on what to do in this kind of situation and also how to self-inject EpiPen. So that are the kinds of subcategories we have. This was for our two main libraries. Now I'd like to take a look at the third library we have, which is on nutraceuticals. Well, we found that pharmacists are well positioned to educate patients on drug-induced nutrient depletion. But few suggested by fear of being viewed as pushing supplements or upselling this kind of products. Often also you don't have time to talk about supplements to your patients because you want to talk to them about their medication. But our videos show patients the side effects of some medications and suggest preventive measures. They basically make the sale for you and they're built so it's done from a clinical point of view. Based on our experience to date, 40% of patients who watched our nutraceuticals video in the store purchased the products in the store. That means that if a patient watched a nutraceutical on probiotics, uh, 4 out of 10 bought a probiotic bottle if it was located near the iPad after having watched the video. So that's quite a good result. And we found that simply sending them by email will likely lead to a sale, but maybe at another store. So that's the main advantage of having the iPad in store. You can show the videos and have the patient buy the products in your pharmacy and not in another pharmacy. Let's take a look at a small pharmacy that has a volume of 100 prescriptions a day. Let's say that 10% of the patients that go there have either diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension, or take estrogens. That are the topics covered by our videos. If four patients of those 10 buy a bottle, you have four new dollars per person, which means $60 a day, for a total of 4,800 new dollars with our nutraceutical videos ourselves. And if you add the probiotics videos that are shown to all people who take antibiotics, which represent about 5% of the prescriptions you dispense, it's a total of $80 a day for 2,400 more dollars you have every year for a total of new business, $7,200. And those are conservative numbers saying that you make only 100 prescriptions a day. So the nutraceuticals videos are consisted in probiotics shown when the people take antibiotics and other categories we have are cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension medication, and estrogens. And I'll show you one probiotic video to see how it looks like. So this is where they are located under the nutraceuticals button. Again, you'll have the choice to choose your languages. If I want to watch the video on cholesterol, for example, I can see that they're divided into subtopics depending on the class of medication the patient takes. If he's on statins, you can watch the video on statins, but we also have bilacid resins. Same thing here for diabetes. Patients who are on metformin or sulfonylureas can watch the videos according to their medications. Let's take a look at the probiotics video that is more widely shown. Depletion of bacteria, antibiotics. Learn how good bacteria becomes depleted when you take antibiotics and how to replenish them. If you are suffering from an infection, your doctor may have prescribed antibiotics to help fight the infection and make you feel better. Antibiotics, by definition, are supposed to kill bacteria. In many situations, such as when you have a bacterial infection, that's a good thing. But those antibiotics, while doing their job on one part of your body, can cause problems elsewhere. They could be destroying good bacteria found not only in the digestive system, but also in the vagina. 
This situation is known as depletion of bacteria. If we go a little further in the video, to the probiotic section, just to make you see what it looks like. Nate. Probiotics are live microorganisms which are similar to the normal bacteria that live in and on the body. Taking probiotics is an effective measure to prevent undesirable side effects such as diarrhea and vaginal yeast infection, as well as the potential long-term complications. You are really trying to solve one problem without creating another, and probiotics are the best way to go. So what we're trying to do here with those videos is really to show the patient the side effects of this medication. We don't want to push the cell. We just want to explain them really what antibiotics are about or what metformin is about and to explain them what side effects they might feel and how some medications, some vitamins and supplements can make them feel better. So that's really the whole point of the nutraceutical videos. But then, how can you integrate them in your workflow? These are the kind of typical installations we find in pharmacies. Most of the pharmacists install the iPad in the consultation area or consultation room for more privacy. Some of them also use it freehand, as you can see in the bottom left picture. Most of them use the secure lock that has a combination to make sure the iPad doesn't get stolen. How does it work? You have first to involve your staff in the whole program. You can't do it yourself only. So technicians have to be involved and they are the key to the success of this program, as I often say. Text suggests the video after having received the prescription. So let's say the tech receives a prescription for a discus. She notices that it's the first time this patient gets a discus. So she suggests him to watch a video on his device. During the medications being prepared in the lab, the patient watches the video and he doesn't feel like waiting. He's learning on his devices also. At the end, if he wants to see it again, he can email the video to himself. For, for that to work, you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. And at the end of the chain completely, the pharmacist verifies the understanding afterwards. That means that you can ask the patient to show you how he would use his device at home so he can correct things he didn't understand very well and really focus on his questions. What to do in three short steps? Well, we recommend to name one technician in charge of the MTM video. One person that will be in charge of making sure the iPad is always charged, that the videos are shown, and that makes the updates on the iPad also, if there are new videos. Secondly, meet with all your staff and explain them the value of the videos, as I explained it to you at the beginning of this webinar. And thirdly, set up the implementation tools that we created for you to make it easier to implement the videos in your pharmacy. First tools we have are the stickers. They are small stickers that you can stick on shelves under drug bottles as a reminder, there's a video available. So for example, under a metformin bottle, you can stick the diabetes sticker. So when the technician prepares the medication, when she gets the metformin bottle, she, she's reminded that there's a video about it. And if she didn't think about the video at first, maybe she can email it later to the patient or ask the patient to watch it while she's finishing preparing this medication. The second tool we have are the incentive coupons. Those coupons are made to really involve your staff. Your technicians can fill a coupon when they suggest a video and put it in a box. You can pick a coupon at the end of the week and reward the winner with a small prize. Some, some pharmacists uh, give, for example, tickets to go to the movies to their technicians. So that's the kind of incentive they like and it, it really helps to involve all the team in the program. The third tool we have is the list of videos. You have the complete list that can be printed from our website. I'll show you where in the marketing library section in a few minutes. We also have an in-store poster that can be installed at the drop of area to promote your new services to your clients. And finally, the patient sign-up sheet. This is more focused on collecting emails, but you can also use them if you use the iPad in-store to get the emails of your patients in their patient file. 
All those tools can be downloaded on our website on mtmvideos.com. You get under MTM Academy, Marketing Library, right there. You have the MTM 101 tools at the top and the 201 tools are in the second sections. So you can download the stickers, incentive coupons, list of videos. We also have other marketing tools that you can use. And here we have a tip I like to give to technicians and pharmacists when they're in a rush. Because if there's a lot of patients at your pharmacy, maybe you don't have time to show them all the videos, but it's important that everyone has a chance to watch a video on this condition or this device. So what I recommend is to use the incentive coupon to write down the video that you would like to send later to the patient. So here I check the how to use box. I want to send the EpiPen video to my patient. I write her name and email address. And at the end of the day, I have collected a few of these papers so I can send all emails later from the iPad at the pharmacy when there's a calmer moment in the day. Or I can also use the dashboard if you, you're familiar with the dashboard to send all your videos in batch. But you can use your iPad to send those videos if you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. So all you have to do is to touch the email button at the right of the topic and then he will receive an email with a link to his personal information and will then get on his patient page with the list of videos he's, he received. What to do next? The first step for you will be to customize your emails and patient page if you did not do it yet. For those of you who watched the 101 webinar, you might have already done that. But for those of you who are just receiving the product with the iPad, I recommend you to customize the emails your patients will receive with your logo, pharmacy address, signature, as well as a picture of you or of your staff that appears at the right of your patient page. Second step will be to name a person in charge of the program. You want to meet with this person, explain him or her the value of the videos and what role this person will have to play. Make sure the iPad is loaded, make sure the updates are done, and that everything's going fine with the iPad. So it will give you, the pharmacist, more time to work on other issues. And this can all be supervised by your technician. Thirdly, schedule your implementation day. So you present a program to your staff. You make a special day about it to show them the videos, explain to them what the implementation tools are, and you can also invite them to register for this web training session and other training sessions such as 101 and 301 so they really understand all about MTM and the MTM videos. Last thing, what I recommend is to register for the MTM videos 301 where we'll learn how to use uh, the TV in your waiting room to broadcast videos. And we also have a bunch of marketing features with this app that allow you to generate additional revenue to your pharmacy that are quite interesting. If you need help, don't hesitate to contact us from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. You can call us at 800-959-0175 or write me or visit our website. We have a chat section where we can ask your questions. Thank you very much for attending. If you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me. And if not, I wish you a very great day.